Um, I'm going to bring up your first act now. And uh, I believe it was Eva Perone who once said, please welcome this next gentleman, <laughs> Mitch Hedberg. very cool of you to applaud for me. I, I dig that. <laughs> this is my uh, microphone hand right here, so if it acts a little silly, it's, it's adjusting to its newfound freedom. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> I performed in Nashville, Tennessee last week. I just got back this morning, and uh, it was my second time at the club down there, and it wasn't by popular demand. It was because of uh, rotation. That's what brought me back. Did radio interviews. I, I walked into the studio to do an interview. The DJ's first question was, who are you? <laughs> I had to think, you know. Is this guy really deep? <laughs> or did I drive to the wrong station? You know? <laughs> A lot of radio stations, they like to use their frequency number to count down the days of summer, like... Like FM 107 will celebrate the 107 days of summer, you know? AM stations can't do this. <laughs> We're AM 1610. Celebrating the 1610 days of the next four and a half years. <laughs> it's gonna be a long party. <laughs> go, go slow. A lot of people flash the peace sign these days, you know? It's cool to flash the peace sign, but I think it's cooler to express peace verbally. Hey, brother. Two. <laughs> peace is a hard concept. I, I tell you, I was, I was home last week and I heard, a, I heard a gunshot outside of my apartment. Then I saw two guys run by my window. So I was gonna call the police. But then I got optimistic. I said, hey, maybe it's just a race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. There's a lot of late night track and field events by my house. <laughs> Nocturnal jocks. <laughs> I live in a studio apartment, one room. And like, when people come over, I like to give them a tour. <laughs> it helps loosen up their neck. I got a sliding glass door, has a sticker, it says, warning, alarm system. It's a real simple alarm, too. It consists of a sticker. <laughs> if I'm gonna threaten people with words, I should be more intense you know, than an alarm system. Like maybe, warning, no air inside. <laughs> Quicksand, and a monster. I pushed it. <laughs> Transportation is a good way to get around. <laughs> I walk a lot. I'm a walker. Find if I don't walk, I end up in one spot. <laughs> I walk by people who try to hand me out flyers, you know? When someone tries to hand me out a flyer, it's kind of like they're saying, here, you throw this away. <laughs> Clap, I'm not used to that, man. <laughs> I was in a band for a while. I was in a band for seven years. It was a, a death metal band. <laughs> People either loved us or they hated us, or they thought we were okay. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of death metal bands have intense names, like, like rigor mortis, or mortuary, or obituary. We weren't that intense, so we just went with injured. <laughs> Later on, we changed it to acapella as we were walking out of the pawn shop. <laughs> we became a death metal barbershop quartet. <laughs> Shopper. I shop for things. I was looking for some glue recently. 
but all this one star had was super glue. It sounded way too overwhelming. <laughs> like they didn't have any pretty good glue. <laughs> I don't want to hang from a steel beam. <laughs> I just want to put some shit back together. <laughs> I had another line, but it's too late. You clap too long. <laughs> the rhythm is over. <laughs> I want to open up a chain of pizza restaurants called Mitch's Pizzeria. Not because I excel at making pizza. I just think Pizza Hut is cocky, and they need to be taken out. <laughs> they're advertising that they're going to accept all competitors' coupons. So if Mitch's Pizzeria was going on, I'd print up a coupon that said, Unlimited free pizza. <laughs> Special note, coupon not good at any of the Mitch's Pizza locations. <laughs> free pizza oven with purchase. <laughs> of a small Coke. I was born in Minnesota. That's where I was raised, Minnesota. That's why I left, too, because of you. That's, that's kind of stupid. But when I was 18, I was kind of sick of living there, so my friend Tim and I, we packed up his Valari. We moved from Minnesota to Florida. We wanted to move to Texas, but the front-end alignment was bad. We hooked up with a roommate down there. His name was Eddie. Eddie was kind of slow on the mental draw. I was writing a letter one night. I had a problem. I said, Eddie, how do you abbreviate Arkansas? He said, I don't know. You just start spelling it, then quit. <laughs> I used to do a acid on occasion. Like, when I was on acid, it was strange. I, I would see things like, like beams of light. I'd hear sounds that sounded an awful lot like car horns. <laughs> when we were on acid, we would go into the woods, because when you're in the woods tripping, there's less likely a chance you run into an authority figure. <laughs> Well, we ran into a bear. <laughs> that was even more of a buzzkill. I mean, friend Dwayne was standing there, raising his right hand, swearing to help prevent forest fires. <laughs> we, got him away, we got him away from the bear. He put his arm around my shoulder. He said, Mitch, Smokey is way more intense in person. <laughs> 